Dr. Heather Jacin is here, the General Nuclear Medicine Highlights Lecturer. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. Tell us about the highlights. So General Nuclear Medicine Research and Developments continues to thrive this year. Some of the major themes throughout the meeting are similar compared to last year, like dose reduction and time efficiency. One of the major differences, however, this year seems to be a focus on difficult to diagnose diseases, for example, autoimmune diseases, infection, and inflammation. And a lot of investigators are developing new agents to image these, these different etiologies. What do you think are the most exciting developments and, and areas that are able to expand in nuclear medicine? Some of the most exciting developments that we've seen in the past couple years are involving quantification using new gamma cameras and SPECT, as well as new softwares that are evolving. With the use of quantification, we can augment our visual interpretations to look for smaller changes and also for diagnosing disease. What types of diseases are you talking about specifically? So some neurodegenerative diseases in gen general nuclear medicine. Also, where areas where we haven't looked, been able to see change on planar images, quantification might allow us to see some of those uh, smaller changes that you can't interpret visually. I feel like the field is changing so rapidly. Mm -hmm. Do you have your finger on the pulse of what the next major trends are as we look forward? I think theranostics in oncology and more specific radio tracers for non-oncologic indications in nuclear medicine are going to be driving the field forward. More so in theranostics, but more for personalized theranostics, so not a one imaging test or a one dose fits all, uh, but rather looking at changes over time and seeing how you can make modifications with your imaging test or with your theranostic dose, for example. How do you think collaborations in multiple areas will help move the field forward? So I think really figuring out once we have all of these new tracers, where they fit into the general bigger picture of a patient's care is really going to help us work with our clinical colleagues to better diagnose and follow patients over time but overall really exciting when it comes to treating patients. Correct, yes. Thank you. Well.